Hey everybody, this is Dr. Henson. I'm gonna make this uh, video to kind of show how we work on feet here in the office. Um, feet are super important. They are the main part of our body that touches the ground, you know, when we walk. And the feet are constantly sending signals to and from the brain, telling the body which muscles to turn on and turn off so that way we can walk. So I wanna give you a quick uh, little video here to kind of show you how we evaluate and treat uh, foot and ankle issues and how those things actually can cause problems in other parts of the body. Okay, so the first thing we need to do when we're evaluating someone's feet is I wanna test all the different muscles that stabilize the foot and the ankle. So what we're gonna do with Megan here is we're gonna go through and test. Um, first of all, I wanna test the uh, three major nerve roots that control the muscles on the outside of the leg, the top of the leg, and inside the leg also. So the first one we're gonna test is having your foot turned up and out, and that's not working. And then we're going to lift this up here. That's not working. Bring your foot up and in. Hold it. And that's not working. So what that tells me is, is when she's got some nerves that aren't quite firing and stabilizing some of the muscles in and around the foot and ankle. Okay, so what we're doing is we're going to treat each one of those three nerves that control her foot and ankle here and part of her lower leg with the cold laser. And so what we're going to do is put the laser over the area where that nerve would exit the spinal cord. And I'm simply just gonna very gently stimulate over that. And then we can go back and find out if that is uh, strengthening this, which, hold up tight. And that muscle's much stronger. So what that's doing is that's providing more support for the outside of her leg and we're gonna do the same thing with each of these areas. We're okay, so we've done cold laser therapy over the nerves that control a lot of the muscles in and around her foot. So now what we're gonna do is go through and make different adjustments to the feet to realign and reposition uh, the bones in her foot so that every time she takes a step and her feet hit the ground, her feet and ankle, as well as her knee and her hip, are absorbing shock properly. So one of the first things, there's another way that the same bone can misalign because it, it's also related to one of the muscles in the neck. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come up here and we're gonna check a muscle here in the neck. Push up for me. And she can't do that. So there's another bone, the same, actually it's the same bone, it's just moved a couple of different directions for her. Right here on the foot. Get this all drawn. And then we're going to go back and check that. And now that muscle works much better. So and she can't do that. So this is a bone on the outside of the foot called the cuboid. We're going to use an instrument to help realign that. So we're just going to very gently tap that bone into place. Hold your foot down again. Is also not working. Is this sore? Oh, yeah. So you'll see this uh, muscle when it's weak, it will be involved in shin splints and runners. Um, it can also be involved in plantar fasciitis. And so this is a bone that actually helps form the arch of our feet. So what we're gonna do is very gently go ahead and help put that bone back in position. check that. So that's just basically an idea of how we work on feet and one of the most important thing I try to tell people is a lot of the muscles that are related to the bones of the feet are also muscles that stabilize low back. So if you've got low back pain obviously there may be problems in the low back but it's really important you get the, che the feet checked first or else you'll just turn around and start walking and end up bringing all this stuff back. So. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment on the video and or uh, message me personally. I'll be happy to answer. Thanks.